Yo guys, what the hell is going on? This is CSS for Beginners Lesson 26, and in this video we're going to talk about the Universal, the Universal Selector. That's coming up. Wow. Okay, so you may be sitting there right now thinking, what the hell was that about? Why has he just said Universal Selector in such a godly manner? And the reason, my friends, is this. It is the God Selector. It's the mother of all selectors. One selector to rule them all. That's how powerful it is, okay? And essentially what the Universal Selector does is select every tag on the page. So we can style every tag or every element within one rule. And it looks like this. A star. That's it. That's the Universal Selector. Quite fitting, I believe, because a star is quite godly and heavenly. And within this, my friends, we can style everything, every tag imaginable. It would be akin to doing something like this. Article, P, L, I, U, L, Div, H1, H2, A, etc, etc. There's too many tags to write. But essentially, if we were to write every single HTML element here and then style it, that would be the same as writing this here. A tiny little star. So this is much easier and that's how powerful it is. So what can we do with this? Well, we can do anything we want. And I am going to color everything blue because I'm feeling quite manic. So let's have a look at this in a browser. And there we go, everything on the page is blue. That is awesome. I might do a website like this. We've got a blue heading, blue text, blue link, blue items, heading, text, etc., etc. Okay, so that there, that selector, that little star, the universal selector, has targeted every element and it has colored it blue. Now, this is not to be confused with inheritance. All the elements are not inheriting this style. It's not like going like this, body, and then colouring everything blue in the body. Because remember, if we do this, then every element will kind of inherit this uh, body element, this, uh, this body rule, and colour them blue, unless they are explicitly styled otherwise, overridden. Okay, so let's just view this in a browser. Oops. And you might be sitting there saying, well, there's no change. And you're right, there's no change. Okay, but check this out. First of all, what I want to do is go back to our star and colour everything red. Okay, and then we'll view this in a browser just so you can see this as well in case you don't believe what it's doing. Everything's red there, yeah? Every element. Okay, let's go back and do the body here, the body selector, and say that every element will indirectly now inherit this style, okay? So you're thinking, well, that should be the same. The blue is the same, right? So why shouldn't this be the same? Well, let's have a look. Oh, we've missed something. This here is still blue. Now, why is that? The universal selector targeted every element and it colored them individually blue. That wasn't inherited. It targeted every element directly. Now, when we give a rule to the body selector, what we're doing is passing that rule on through all the child and descendant selectors indirectly. It's inheriting those rules. Now, remember default browser styling? Well, that there is overriding this A rule here. So it's the A is inheriting this body rule of coloring it red. But then the default browser style is going, hey, I've got a rule for A's myself, so I'm going to colour it blue. I don't care what you've inherited. I'm going to colour it blue. Okay. However, the universal selector overrides that. That is selecting the A tag directly, as well as the P tag directly, as well as the LI tag directly. Okay. So those are not inherited. So that is the one important difference between inheritance and the universal selector. All right. Then. So why would you ever use this? Well, it's a good question and a lot of developers kind of shy away from it and that's because of the sheer power of it you know they, they don't often want to target every single element and give it identical styles but some people they create what's called a css reset now i'm not going to get into too much detail about what a css reset is now but essentially a css reset is a way of stripping out all the default browser styles 
so you can apply your own styles. So there's no kind of conflict, so you're not getting blue links where you don't want them or margins or paddings or anything like that where you don't want them. So what they generally do is put this universal selector at the top of their CSS uh, style sheet or in a separate style sheet altogether. And they do something like this, I don't know, strip out all the margins, strip out, oops, all the padding, zero, and uh, I don't know, color everything black. And this is a simplistic version, you know, a CSS reset gets into a, a little more detail than this. Um, I may do a video on this in the future, but for now, let's keep it to this simple example. And if we do that and then open it up in a browser, then we'll see that now all the padding and the margins around each element and the colour of the links, they've been stripped off. So we've got like a blank canvas, if you like. Everything's uniform, and then we can go and style it how we want. And we've not got those default browser styles interfering with anything. So that's why people would use it. I will advise that you err on the side of caution when you use it, okay? Don't just kind of throw anything you like in there, because don't forget, you always have to override those styles because those styles are going to run through everything. So you may forget certain elements in the future to style something, and then this is going to rear its ugly head and take away its margin, uh, take away its padding. And sometimes those default styles are quite good that the browser implements. They're there for a reason. Okay, so be careful with it. I'm not saying don't use it. Feel free to use it in your own CSS resets or whatever, but just be careful with it. Okay then, so that there is the Universal Selector. If you have any questions about it whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. I will answer all of those as soon as I can. Otherwise, please subscribe, like and share this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.